The ultimate Hollywood power couple, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez, have had a long history of drawing attention from the public. Benefer 2.0 is an enduring story, replete with lavish red carpet events and high-profile relationship ups and downs. Real families and real lives are at stake, despite the glamour and flash. Ben Affleck recently discussed the toll that his and J.Lo's celebrity has had on their kids, sharing some very direct insights into the reasons why his kids might hold grudges against their famous stepmother. Get comfortable, as things are going to get juicy. Let's go back to the days when Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck were the epitome of a Hollywood couple. Even though their romance ended in 2018, it was the stuff of legends. Samuel, Serafina and Violet are their three shared children. Notwithstanding her notoriety, Garner led a relatively low-key life. She was renowned for her down-to-earth demeanor and commitment to keeping her kids out of the spotlight. Then enter Jennifer Lopez, whose 2022 reappearance in Ben's life caused a stir unlike anything else. Her marriage to Mark Anthony produced twins, Max and Emma, which set the stage for a complicated blending of families. However, as Ben openly admitted on Kevin Hart's Heart to Heart, there have been some issues with this blending. He admitted, it hurts my feelings to think. This wouldn't happen if I wasn't in this life. It's evident that his children have struggled with the ongoing media attention. Thanks to their dads and stepmoms illicit status, they didn't ask for this life, and they definitely didn't ask for the paparazzi to follow them around. The mother of the children, Jennifer Garner, has also voiced her discomfort with the circumstances. Sources claim that Ben's renewed romance with Lopez caught Garner off guard. She is renowned for being an intensely guarded mother who would rather her kids stay out of the spotlight. To put it mildly, this abrupt thrust into the center of the media frenzy must have been startling. A source told Fox News Digital she doesn't like her kids in the public eye so much, and that's been hard for her. It makes sense that Garner would feel uneasy given how persistent the paparazzi have been ever since Benefer and her friend got back together. Their lives were comparatively quieter when Ben was dating Jennifer Garner, so this is a sharp contrast. Even Affleck finds the intense scrutiny to be bothersome. He acknowledged on heart to heart that he sometimes has to put on a bitch face to deal with the intrusive paparazzi and that he doesn't enjoy the attention. He said, I also don't like a lot of attention. This explains why when people see me, they say things like, this dude is always mad since someone is clinging to my face with their camera. His children, who have unintentionally put themselves in the public eye, are probably in agreement with this sentiment. Affleck gave a detailed account of an incident that happened in Times Square as one particularly striking illustration of this. What should have been a fun outing turned into a stressful spectacle as the family was accosted by fans while attempting to attend a play. There was a woman wearing a full purple skin-tight suit while smoking marijuana, and she scurries backwards while filming, exclaiming, J.L.O. similar to a herald, then gets everyone else moving tourists or not just moving. Moments like these highlight the difficult reality of having famous parents when growing up. It's easy to see why Ben's children could hold grudges against J.L.O. Regularcy is a rare commodity for them because of the constant attention they receive from the media. Every family trip and every private moment could be used as media fodder. From their previous relatively low-key existence, this is a far cry. Furthermore, Jennifer Lopez's level of celebrity is entirely different. According to Affleck, people adore her. She also genuinely stands for something significant to the public. Although he may receive a nod of respect for his acting, J.Lo almost causes hysteria. When Affleck's daughter turned to him during their Times Square adventure and said, J.Lo is my stepmother. It was a clear example of this contradiction. It was an obvious sign of how overwhelming and surreal the situation was for her. Conversely, Jennifer Lopez faces a unique set of difficulties. She is a worldwide symbol, and maintaining that degree of notoriety is no easy task. She manages to maintain a work-life balance despite the rumors and public scrutiny, which is no easy feat for anyone. Relationship expert Luella Alderson suggested that she use her recent solo trip to Italy as an opportunity to think about her marriage and future. While self-care of this kind is crucial, it also draws attention to the persistent conflicts in the Benefer household. According to an insider, J.Lo appeared to be having fun at La Gavatella restaurant during her Italian vacation, calling the establishment relaxed and very, very kind. This brief diversion from the non-stop media circus back home was probably much needed. It did, however, also feed more rumors regarding the status of her marriage to Affleck. Their marriage has clearly been under stress. According to reports, Lopez and Affleck have been living apart, with Ben relocating to a rental home and J.Lo staying in their $60 million Beverly Hills mansion. 
The fact that Affleck sold their shared house because he didn't like how far away it was from his kids only served to highlight the intricate dynamics at work. They reportedly see each other every few days despite living apart, attempting to preserve some semblance of a family. However, the recurring reports of an upcoming divorce point to more serious problems. According to a source who spoke with Fox News Digital, they've had fights about differences of opinions on raising their kids. Although these different parenting philosophies are not unusual in blended families, given the additional demands of celebrity, they appear to be especially noticeable in this instance. Jennifer Lopez has made a point of remaining upbeat, despite everything. She addressed the negativity that surrounds her and urged her fans to concentrate on the love in the world in a recent newsletter. It may seem like there's a lot of negativity out in the world right now dot 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 dot, but don't let the voices of a few drown out that there is so much love out there, she stated. It's a noble position, particularly in light of the constant media attention she receives. In addition, Lopez decided to postpone her This Is M.E. Dot, 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 live tour in order to spend more time with her family, demonstrating her dedication to her personal life, despite her career obligations. In an earlier newsletter she wrote, I am completely heartsick and devastated about letting you down please know that I wouldn't do this if I didn't feel that it was absolutely necessary. Dot, the public's insatiable curiosity about Benefer's relationship continues. Fan and critic alike have followed their every move, from their first engagement in the early 2000s to their renewed romance and marriage that followed. With their alleged marital problems the media's obsession with their relationship has only grown. Every encounter and public appearance is examined for hints regarding their whereabouts. It is tiresome to be under this kind of scrutiny, and it surely adds to their family's stress. Living in a fishbowl is what having JLO as a stepmother means for Violet, Serafina, and Samuel. They live under constant observation, with comparisons to their well-known parents' lives made on a regular basis. Not only are fans and the general public intruding, but also paparazzi, who feel that they have a right to know about their personal lives. They have little control over their own narratives, which can lead to feelings of resentment and frustration. Affleck's open remarks on Heart to Heart illuminated the emotional toll that this has had. I really fucking second guess it, a lot he replied. His honest admission brings to light the inner turmoil he experiences regarding subjecting his kids to such intense public scrutiny. He tries to protect them, but it's impossible to deny the truth of their circumstances. Affleck and Lopez attempt to keep some semblance of normalcy for their kids in spite of the chaos. They try to create a stable environment through regular activities, school functions, and family outings. The Mayborn Hotel in Beverly Hills is where Lopez was most recently spotted going to lunch with Violet, Ben's oldest daughter. Despite the photographer's close scrutiny, the outing appeared carefree and pleasurable. In contrast to the reports of strife, Lopez looked sharp in a cream pantsuit, and Violet looked lovely in a floral dress. What then lies ahead for Benefer and their adoptive family? The circumstances are still changing, and new information is constantly coming to light. Affleck and Lopez have not yet made any formal remarks about a divorce, despite the public's ongoing conjecture regarding their marital status. It is evident, nevertheless, that they confront a variety of difficulties. It's a delicate dance, juggling their prominent careers with the scrutiny of the public while raising a blended family. Affleck illuminates the very real human element behind the tabloid headlines with his open admissions about how fame affects his kids. In the end, Benefer's story is about more than just Hollywood romance and glitz, it's also about family struggles and personal hardships. We'll see if they can make it through these choppy waters and emerge stronger on the other side. Fans and onlookers will keep watching, speculating and hoping for the best for one of the most talked about couples in Hollywood for the time being.